Welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started this week by hosting students and teachers from the Taymount Manor Primary School for their school tour at State House. President Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali inspected housing and road infrastructural works in Region 3, Esiquibu Islands, West Amarara, on Monday afternoon. During his inspection, the president engaged with contractors and encouraged expediency of the ongoing construction of the roundabout at Crane, connecting the schooner to Crane Four-Lane Highway. The project, being executed to the tune of about $11.8 billion, is designed to reduce traffic congestion along the West Bank and West Coast of Demerara. Guyana has reaped more than 20 million pounds of cassava in 2024 in line with its developmental trajectory to increase food productivity. This announcement was made by President Irfan Ali during an outreach in Bonasica Creek Region 3 on Tuesday. We introduced a new yield, a new variety that has moved the yield from 15 tons per hectare to 30 tons per hectare. Double the yield. And we did not only do that, because we know when you have increased production, it can affect price. We have worked to stabilize the price by the government acquiring for communities that don't have and have higher prices and processing the cassava into farine. And now we are having the opportunity of taking that farine into the Brazilian market. Later that evening, President Irfan Ali received the ICC Men's T20 World Cup 2024 trophy at State House. The prestigious trophy arrived in Guyana ahead of the ICC Men's T20 World Cup. The head of state called on the region to rally around the West Indies. He said that the team stands a good chance of winning the trophy. Guyana stands to save millions of U.S. dollars by the end of 2025 by reducing its dependence on imported crops. President Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali said that tangible investments by his government, planning and management of the Guyana agriculture sector will make this a reality. People might say, okay, uh, you're planting a lot, you're growing a lot. What does it mean? It means you'll be saving by the end of next year more than maybe 150 million US dollars of import because that is what we spend. When you look at what we spend, the U.S. dollars we spend to import onion, to import corn, to import soya, to import feed, to import black eye, to import red beans. That is the type of foreign currency impact that we're talking about. When you add the fertilizer and the chemical and all of these things that come with that. On Friday afternoon, the head of state gave the feature address at the launch of the Children's Mentorship Program, which is being done in collaboration with Men on Mission and the Private Sector Commission. This group will bring together 40 children every day from the 1st of June. They will have a nutritious meal. They will do their homework together. They will have access to the internet and e-network will allow that. They are putting an a internet facility so that they will have that access. They will have access to uh, computers, they will be, and they will have compulsory counseling session, uh, motivation sessions that will be part of the program. We also will have positive living as part of the program. So some afternoon when they come, they will do yoga, they will do uh, karate, they will do things that will, will uplift them, things that will inspire them, things that will give them a holistic uh, approach and understanding of life itself. On Saturday morning, President Irfan Ali conducted an outreach to several villages along the Demerara River, outlining a series of planned interventions. Regardless of where a community is located or how small a community is, I committed to visiting communities and visiting people everywhere so that together we can build a future that is stronger, we can build a future that is viable, and one in which the development can come to every single community. The president also announced that agricultural production in the village of Sand Hill Region 10 is set to receive a much-needed boost, which will see the clearing of about 60 acres of land
for community farming. This was the President's Diary, where we looked at His Excellency Dr. Muhammad Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching, and do join us again next time.